Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. I'm your host, and today we will read Batter Up SpongeBob by David Lumen and illustrated by Warner McGee. This book was published by Simon Spotlight and Nickelodeon in 2011. Sure, Dad. I'd love to play on your new baseball team, SpongeBob said to his father. He hung up his shell phone. Gary, this is going to be so great. I used to play baseball when I was just a little sponge, and I loved it. I was good, too. Slugger square pants, they called me. SpongeBob said as he pretended to swing a bat. Meow? asked Gary. Oh, sure, SpongeBob answered, nodding. I still remember how to play. All I need is a little practice. That gave SpongeBob an idea. I'd better go down to the basement and dig out my equipment. Let's see. Soccer football, sand hockey. Where's my baseball stuff? Tossing gear behind him, SpongeBob rummaged in every box. Aha, he cried. Here we go. SpongeBob triumphantly pulled a big squishy ball out of a trunk. He also found a tee to put the ball on, a fat plastic bat, and a glove. Hey, he cried delighted, my old cap. He placed the little cap onto his square head. Still fits, he exclaimed. Gary wasn't so sure. SpongeBob carried all of his baseball equipment to his front yard. He carefully balanced the squishy ball on the tee. Just as he was about to swing his plastic bat, he heard, Hey, SpongeBob, what are you doing? Startled, SpongeBob looked up to see Patrick and said, I'm just brushing up on my baseball skills. Oh boy, Patrick shouted, I love baseball. Then he asked, what's baseball? Just watch and learn, pal, SpongeBob said. The key is to keep your eye on the ball. It's easy to keep your eye on the ball when it doesn't go anywhere, Patrick said. The next day, SpongeBob went to the baseball game, where his dad's team was playing. Good thing I practiced. I want dad to be so proud of me. But when he got to the field, he saw they weren't using squishy balls. They weren't using plastic bats. They weren't even using tees. With his mouth hanging open, SpongeBob watched as the pitcher reared back and hurried a fastball. It came whizzing across the plate and smacked into the catcher's glove. Whap! Hey, Spongebob, yelled Patrick from the stands. This is great! You mean the fast pitching? Spongebob called back. No, the ice cream, Patrick answered. Hi, son! called Spongebob's dad cheerfully. You made it just in time. The game is about to start, and we're up to bat first. G great Spongebob said, trying to act calm. His dad stepped up to the plate, swung, and got a hit. Go, Dad! cheered Spongebob as his dad ran. He was safe on first. Okay, son, yelled Spongebob's dad. Your turn! SpongeBob didn't want to let his dad down. He'd have to give this scary version of baseball a try. Hey, SpongeBob, Patrick shouted from the stands. Yeah, buddy, asked SpongeBob, looking to his friend for encouragement. This ice-cold lemonade is refreshing, too.
SpongeBob walked over to the row of bats, trying to see which one was the smallest. He picked one up and was amazed at how heavy it was. Batter up, the umpire shouted impatiently. SpongeBob nervously walked toward the plate, his knees shaking and his hands trembling. Hey kid, aren't you forgetting something? yelled one of the other players with a snort. You forgot your batting helmet. He tossed SpongeBob a sturdy plastic helmet. Th th thanks, murmured SpongeBob as he took off his baseball cap and put on the hard helmet. Go SpongeBob, Patrick cheered. Get a touchdown. SpongeBob stepped up to the plate. The catcher signaled the pitcher, telling him what kind of pitch to throw. The pitcher nodded. SpongeBob's knees were shaking. The pitcher looked at first bait, base, went into his windup, and zzzz sent the ball rocketing across home plate. SpongeBob never even got a chance to swing. Strike one, called the umpire. In no time at all, the pitcher had thrown two more strikes. You're out, the umpire screamed. That's okay, SpongeBob, his dad called from first base. You'll get him next time. Wonderful, Patrick shouted. SpongeBob looked up at him confused. This popcorn is wonderful, he explained. SpongeBob felt better out on the field running after the ball. He was actually pretty good at throwing, too. But at no time at all, it was his turn at bat again. He picked a bat, put on his batting helmet, and walked to the plate, trying to keep his knees from knocking. He saw his dad watching from second base. SpongeBob took a deep breath, thinking, keep your eye on the ball. The pitcher pulled down his cap. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. Then he leaned way back and fired the ball toward home plate. Keeping his eye on the ball, SpongeBob swung the bat and... Dink! He got a hit! He couldn't believe it! He just stood there, staring at the ball rolling slowly through the grass. He shoots! He scores! cheered Patrick from the stands. Run, SpongeBob, run! yelled his dad from second base. Oh, right, SpongeBob said. He was so surprised he'd gotten a hit, he forgot to run. SpongeBob ran as fast as he could to the first base. The pitcher sprinted toward the ball, scooped it up, and tossed it to the first baseman but it went right past the first baseman. SpongeBob stepped on the base and yelled, Dad, go! SpongeBob's dad rounded third and headed for home. The first baseman scrambled for the ball. He threw it to the catcher. Just as SpongeBob's dad crossed the plate. Safe, bellowed the umpire. It was their team's first run. The crowd went wild. Goal! yelled Patrick. SpongeBob and his dad's team went on to win the game. Nice game, Slugger! SpongeBob's dad said to him as they walked off the field. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad, SpongeBob said. It was great playing with you again. Anytime your need team needs another player, I'm ready. The end. Are you enjoying Storytime with Kay? If so, be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos posted daily. Thank you for your support.